Before embarking on his expedition to South America, Prussian geographer, naturalist and explorer Alexander von Humboldt wrote, Ich werde mich bemühen, herauszufinden, I shall endeavor to find out how nature's forces act upon one another and in what manner the geographic environment exerts its influence on animals and plants. His observations that changes in vegetation structure match changes in temperature along elevation gradients became highly influential. They were the first of a series of observations establishing that the broad outlines of vegetation types are generally limited by climate and change in synchrony with changes in climate. Can similar generalizations be made for animal communities? With help of water and nutrients, plants transform solar energy into biomass. Biomass could be leaves, fruits, seeds, and a range of organisms including uh, folivores, frugivores and uh, granivores, they consume those resources. Our starting hypothesis is that the amount of energy available in every location will determine the types of animal trophic communities that exist there. We analyzed the feeding preferences of all terrestrial mammals with more than 3 kilograms of body mass and we found uh, that there are six types, basic types of trophic communities. Boreal, Temperate, semi-arid, seasonal tropical, humid tropical. The sixth type, uh, the pauperate, is characterized by having very low number of species. The most interesting thing is that uh, these six uh, ways of organizing the energy uh, are determined by climate. The results also reveal that human activities directly affect the trophic structures of animal communities, leading to a reduction in the numbers of coexisting species that are expected given the climate. The corporate trophic communities are very interesting. We found them on oceanic islands, deserts, polar regions, but also in areas highly affected by human activities. The results will help understand and predict the effects of climate change as well as other human pressures on biodiversity, since trophic structures are the way in which biodiversity organizes itself to efficiently explore the resources available within ecosystems.